Have you ever wondered what happened to your phone number once you registered it with Truecaller? While it's a great tool for identifying unknown caller and blocking spam, but there are some serious concerns about how your data might be used. From data sharing with advertiser to potentially privacy breach, your personal information might be more exposed than you think. In this video, I will show you step by step how to unlist your number from Truecaller database and delete your account permanently from the Truecaller. If you are ready to take back control of your personal information, stick around, you won't want to miss this. The whole process is divided into two parts, unlisting your number and deactivating the Truecaller account. This process applies to iPhone and Android devices as well. Now let's begin with the first step which is unlisting your number. And for that, visit the Truecaller unlisting page. You can find this by searching for Truecaller unlisting in your web browser or you can use the link that I have provided in the description below. Once you are on the page, you will find two options. The first one is to change your name and second one is to unlist your mobile number. If you understand the disadvantages of unlisting from Truecaller which is mentioned here and still wish to proceed, click on no, I want to unlist. Now you will need to enter your mobile number which you want to unlist and make sure to include the country code before your number to ensure it is processed correctly. After entering your phone number, you will see a CAPTCHA. This is to verify that you are not a robot. Complete the CAPTCHA to move to the next step. Next, it will ask, do you still have access to your phone number? Click yes if your number is still working and you want to unlist. Then it will ask, are you able to send and receive SMS on this phone number? Again, select yes. Next, it will ask why you want to unlist from the true caller. Here, I will select true caller does not work for me, but you can select according to your preference. Then click unlist to process your request. A new window will pop up asking you to send a message. You will need to type the specified message which is mentioned here and send it to the provided number. If you prefer not to type, you can scan a QR code. For Android devices, scan this QR code and for iOS devices, scan this QR code. Here I will scan for iOS and it will automatically update the message body and the number. Once I click on send, I will get a confirmation message stating it can take up to 24 hours before your number gets removed. Click OK to complete this part. The unlisting process is not immediately. It will take up to 24 hours for your number to get completely removed from Truecaller database. You will receive a confirmation once your number is unlisted from the Truecaller database. Now let's move on to the deactivation of your Truecaller account. And for that, open the Truecaller app on your mobile phone. For Android, tap on the three dot menu in the top right corner of your screen to open the sidebar menu. From there, select setting. In the setting menu, find and tap on privacy center. If you are an iOS user, tap on the profile icon in the top right corner of the screen to open the main menu. From there, tap on privacy center. This is where you can manage your privacy setting and account information. Scroll down until you can see the option deactivate account. Tap on it. Truecaller again show you the disadvantages to deactivate your account. Select all the option and click deactivate account. Again it will ask for the confirmation. Once you click on deactivate, your account will be moved in the deactivation mode. Once you have deactivated your account, it's a good idea to uninstall Truecaller app from your device to make sure Truecaller does not have access to any of the information of your device. So that's all from this video. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, share with your friends and you do not forget to subscribe our channel for more amazing tech videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.